A story of ordinary people fighting a global industry that's been getting away with mass murder. An industry protected by powerful politicians. And it all starts in my small village in Belgium. I had a wonderful childhood in this green paradise. Just opposite my home, there's a big company, Etex Ethernet. Thousands of people work there. My father worked there too, as a union man. I worked in the factory during the holidays, so I could buy my first camera. Etex Ethernet paid for our houses, food and my studies. It brought a lot of prosperity to families in the region. This was the unquestioned reality of my youth. Edex Ethernet is a company that made asbestos products. Asbestos is a mineral that can be mined like coal. In the early 50s, asbestos fiber mixed with cement was considered a miracle product that was meant to last for eternity. This miracle product was used in houses, schools, public buildings. Even the European Commission building in Brussels was packed full of asbestos products. It became a booming business, making the owners of Etex Ethernet, the Emsons family, one of the richest in Belgium. In 1964, scientific research by American doctor Selikov proved that asbestos was lethal. Inhaling asbestos fibers can cause asbestosis, lung cancer, and mesothelioma. According to the World Health Organization, officially, more than 300,000 citizens are expected to die from mesothelioma by 2030 in the EU. Etex Ethernet flourished and soon became a multinational company with factories in the Netherlands, France, Spain, Italy, all over Europe. Etex Ethernet soon acquired asbestos factories in developing countries in Africa. South America and Asia. In India, Etex Ethernet had five factories. The factories have been opened up in India to take advantage of lax laws. So what, why, why are you here? So we're trying to bring a case here mm -hmm. in uh, Belgium. We've been trying to see the options, but you know... Um, court case. A court here case. in Belgium against Ethernet. For the a, co a court case against uh, Etex, uh, the parent company, saying that you knew very well when you were operating these factories that asbestos was a carcinogen and yet you operated these factories negligent. What's happened is nothing less than corporate homicide. If you made a decision that has cost the lives of people, then you should be held accountable for it in, in a criminal court. Since 1997, when companies closed in the West, the consumption of asbestos products quadrupled in India. When Ethernet bought the subsidiary from the factory in Mulund, in Kaimor, in Calcutta and in Coimbatore, and the factory in Mulund shut down and they opened another one in Nasik in 95. My colleagues, friends, they are all expired. I'm serving since 37. Why fiber has not attacked me? And people, those who work 10 years, five years, ladies, uh, available, they are all expired. You have asbestosis? How many percent is it? Twenty percent was there. I know I am suffering more, but it is all right in X-ray, it is twenty percent, because I can't breathe properly. When I walk, I go from here to up to the temple. I become breathless. Conservative estimates are that 100,000 people are affected by asbestos-related diseases in India every year. Every but year? Every year, but go un unrecorded. It's already globally the largest uh, occupational disease, asbestos use, globally. And this is going to be replicated in this country. It's going to be, it's going to be huge. So there are no option. No option. So in poverty, there is no option. There is nothing we can do for the people who passed away. But we must be thinking about the future generation. It's time that Eternit pays compensation. Eternit ko dena hoga. Yes. Yes. Eternit ko dena hoga.